Hello everyone, thank you for watching another episode. Today we'll be testing and replacing this guy right here. This is an ignition coil relay. If your vehicle is running and then stalls, this may be a culprit. If your vehicle is hard to start, just cranks and cranks and cranks and nothing happens, this may be a culprit. Also, if you find a bad battery, a dead battery, sometimes these can internally go and it draws power from the battery. So I'll show you on how to find it remove it we'll test it on the bench and if you'd like to see anything additional regarding this we have a number of relay videos coming up just click that bell and you'll be notified right away when we upload these videos now today we'll be working on a 2006 Acura TL and it happens the relay happens to live behind this kick panel now if you can't find the relay in your vehicle check underneath the hood uh, sometimes they are located there sometimes they may even be behind a cover like something like this for example There we go, something like this. Sometimes, typically they're pretty big, which you'll see in a moment. Uh, it just happens to live behind this cover in this case. Now, ultimately, if you can't find it, do a web search. And a lot of times you can pick up diagrams showing exactly where it's located. Now, to remove this trim piece, I have an interior removal set. You can typically pick these up for maybe 10, 12 bucks at the local auto parts store. If you don't have anything like this, you need to do this ASAP. If you just grab a screwdriver, wrap it up with electrical tape, just be careful and you should be okay. But sometimes you can even just, yeah. Sometimes you, you don't even need them, which we don't in this case, but that being said. And then, here you go, this is where the relay lives. Now if you look close enough, right here it says ignition coil. So this is the relay we need to deal with. And we'll remove it and I'll show you on how to test one of these. Now if it's really really tight and you can't remove it you could just use a pair of pliers just wrap the end of the pliers with some electrical tape so you don't damage the body of the relay. Now this is known as a normally open type relay and very simply all that that means if we say this is number one and this is number two when power is applied to the bottom two prongs so for example when you turn the ignition key number one and number two make a connection inside the relay that's all that a relay does. Very, very simple. So again, when power is applied to the bottom two, number one and number two make a connection. If the relay is bad, when power is applied to the bottom two, these guys don't make a connection inside the relay. So the question becomes, how do you test this? It's actually very, very simple, and we need a multimeter. You can do it without a multimeter, which you'll see in a, in a second just using a battery, but this really pinpoints uh, if you do have a problem. Don't be scared if this makes you nervous. They're very very simple to use these multimeters You can pick them up from around 20 bucks or so local auto parts store Amazon Home Depot They'll have them and the function that we want is Continuity and you know you'll be on the right setting if you see this Wi-Fi hotspot symbol on the multimeter Now continuity just means two points make a connection. That's it. That's all that it means two points make a connection and when they do make a connection, we'll hear an audible alert. Something like this. Okay, so what we'll do is apply power to the bottom two prongs and we should have continuity at number one and number two. Now what I'll be using are these alligator type clips. Makes the job very, very easy. So again, just be careful when you hook this up. And then, let me zoom out here a little bit. Now very quickly, what I'm using here is an RC car battery pack. Pushes out around 11 volts. You can use your car or truck battery, but just be super careful. Disconnect the negative terminal going to the battery just in case you create a short. So it's a very simple test. The main thing is you just want to be careful. Sometimes the hardest part really is just finding the relay because every vehicle is different. But uh, we should hear a click. You hear that? So we know this is working right off the bat. Just want to be really careful. Make sure that these wires don't cross. I'll do like that. Now, if we test for continuity, we should hear an audible alert. Let me zoom out here. So you guys can see this. If you're curious to see this, we'll also change the numbers here. And there you go. So this relay is working perfectly fine. If I disconnect this, and again, 
we test it, we should have now no continuity. And we don't. So this is how you can quickly test one of these relays. Very, very simple. So that's what it takes to test one of these relays. As you can see, it's very simple. If this makes you nervous by any means, using a multimeter, using a battery, then just don't do it and bring it to someone. Uh, and there's no, you know, there's no shame in that, but ultimately you do have to get power to this to see if it's working or not. If it's not working, they tend to be pretty darn inexpensive. Slap a new one on and you'll be in good shape. Please comment, like. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comment section below. Please ring that bell if you want to be notified on a future relay video and other repair videos, of course. And until next time, thanks for watching.